and welcome back to my channel. Today's video obviously is going to be everything that I got my kids to put in their stocking. Usually Santa brings stuff for stockings and that's what happens with my kids too. But if Santa ever happens to leave a little bit of space in the stocking, then I like to put some little extra things in there. So that's what I'm going to be showing you moms in case you out there want to put some extra things in stockings too. First of all, I'll show you guys what our stockings look like. This is what our stockings look like they are large i have a lot of questions pretty often in our what i got my kids for christmas videos what our stockings look like because they hold a lot of stuff they hold a lot of stuff because they're made out of sweater material so it's very easy for them to stretch and honestly i just shove stuff in there sometimes to make it all fit kind of like it when they're like overflowing on christmas morning i think that's exciting i know it's excessive but i do really enjoy adding little extra things that I think the kids are going to enjoy over the course of the year and not just junk, not something just to put something in the stocking, but something they'll actually enjoy. So if you didn't know, I have five kids and they're a variety of ages and I have both genders. I have a boy who is Evan, he's almost 13, he'll be 13 just a few days after Christmas. Then I also have an 11 year old boy named Brady and a 10 year old boy named Ezra. I have a almost five year old girl who'll be five on January 5th. And I also have a two and a half year old son named Cruz. And so I'm gonna show you guys everything I put in their stockings. Since I started with the oldest kid first on my What I Got My Kids For Christmas video, I'm gonna start with Cruz this time. I'm gonna start with my two and a half year old. So hopefully I can give you guys some ideas for him and then I'll move on to the rest of them. First off, this is Cruz's stocking. This is what it looks like once it's actually full and ready for Christmas morning. So I have some things sticking out. I have stuff shoved all the way down. So sometimes I get questions like, uh, that's not gonna fit in the stocking. Obviously, it does, so that's where we are on that. I got him his first coloring book that is just for Cruz. I got him this one from Target. It's bluey, which he loves. The next thing I got him is this Magnetic Creations Peppa Pig magnetic playset. You open it up and it has a little scene there and it has a bunch of different repositional stickers that he can use. I figured that he could use this when we're in the car or if the pieces are too small, he can use it when he's waiting for Jenna at dance class or cheer every week. The next thing I got him is his own water wow. If you haven't seen these, these are great by Melissa and Doug. Jenna has one that she got in her stocking years ago and it still works perfect. All the pages are blank until you get it wet with this little water painter and then you can fill it up as many times as you want and then when it dries, those pages go back to being blank. So I got him the construction set. And then I also got him his token piece of candy. I don't do a lot of candy, but the other kids got a little bit more than he did. So I got him a little push pop. And then I got him the cutest set of Peppa Pig cars. And by the way, I'll link everything down below. Here's George and his little dinosaur. Cruz loves George. He always honk, um, not honks. He always snorts when Peppa Pig comes on. It's so cute. There's also this one with little Peppa Pig's friends. This one with George and a little dinosaur. It's my favorite. He looks like a knight. And then here's Peppa with a little race car. And then there's also this one with Triceratops and their friend. I also got a multi-pack of these fidget toys from Amazon and the kids each have one. It makes a little popping noise. And then I also got him a good to grow juice. I love these for putting in stockings. We reuse these and just fill them up with water. The last thing that I got for Cruz, I'm honestly not sure if I'm going to open these and put them in his stocking or if I'm going to wrap them. I just need to see all the presents visually in front of me so I can decide. But we got him this set of Mario Kart Hot Wheels. So those are all the racers. You got Princess Peach, I think that's Zelda, Mario and Luigi, and then Donkey Kong, a blue Yoshi, Toad, and Waluigi, I think that is. So we got Cruz the Mario Kart Hot Wheels Rainbow Road Track, which if you haven't seen it, it looks so cool. They race down the rainbow track. I love Mario Kart when I was little. And it also shows them like what place they got. It shows them digitally when they race the cars. So him and Jenna and his brothers can play and they're gonna have so much fun. So I'll either wrap these or open them up and put them in the stocking too. They'll fit if I open them, but 
they're not gonna fit right now in the boxes and that's everything I got for Curtis's stocking next up is Jenna's stocking who is my almost five-year-old daughter she is the ultimate girly girl she loves any and all things girly but she also hangs out with boys almost all the time so she's very well-rounded she loves dance and cheer and art especially so those are her interests the first thing we got for Jenna is this Disney princess Lego set this is from Target and you can build the little boat and Rapunzel is in there I think this is like technically Lego friends and it has Pascal in there it's super cute and Jenna's actually never had her own set of Legos before she's just played with her brothers and she plays with them all the time so I know she's gonna like this the next thing we got her is this device holder Jenna has my old phone so when we upgrade our phones we give our older ones to our kids and so that's how they have devices even though they're not actually like activated they use them on wi-fi so she has a phone that she plays educational games on and she has her chore app on there and stuff and she also has disney now so we got her this little cute phone stand it looks like a unicorn float which we actually have one that looks similar so she can prop her phone up also got her this barbie pets blind bag and it has a bunch of different options for what pets you can get we also got her this colors of the world set of different types of skin tones for her colors because she's never had those before and something that's been on her wish list that she saw she really liked are the scrub love babies if you haven't seen these before it's like a blind bag they don't know which pet they're gonna get they open it up and it's like all matted and yucky and they have to clean it and it turns and like dry it and it turns into a really cute little animal so these are really cute and there's also the ones where you have to give them a haircut and it's pretty similar to that the next thing i got for her stocking is this set of super cute underwear with unicorns rainbows all kinds of little stuff this is one of the cutest sets of underwear unless you've seen the disney princess rainbow ones that target has which are really cute too but these are a little bit higher quality the next thing we got for jenna is this unicorn shaped power bank so she can charge her device on the go she's never had one of these but ezra has one and he loves it it's not a unicorn but he likes it we also got jenna a shashibo cube but we got one of these for brady a few years ago and it's really cool they're like magnetic manipulative parts where you can like flip it all around and they can connect together so each of the kids has one of these and brady has an old one which has still held up well and hers is the artist series the confetti version i also got jenna a set of these popping tubes hers glow in the dark she saw these randomly at one of the kiosks in the mall the other day when we went in to exchange her pants but she really wanted this little fidget toy they make all kind of noise if you haven't seen and kids much older than her like my 10 year old also really want these and then we also got a jojo's world little jojo figure blind box if you haven't seen these these are so cute they're what are replacing lol dolls in my house i'm not buying any more lol dolls because they fall to pieces so easily and the clothes are like frustrating to put on these clothes don't come off but i think that little jojo dolls are super cute jenna likes them so we got her that one she has one more that she got as a prize so I think she's gonna like this. And then she also loves the color change Barbie. She actually loves color change anything, which a lot of our kids did. We got her a little color change reveal Barbie to put in her stocking. She had one of these last year and she loved it. She's been asking for another one. So here you go, Jenna. We got her a Ryan's World blind bag squishy. She has two of these that she's gotten as prizes from her dojo points and this will be her third one she loves these things so much we also got her this pura vita bracelet if you haven't heard of the pura vita brand i think i'm saying that right it's really popular right now for boys and girls the boys wear just the plain ones but mostly girls wear them they can wear them as anklets or they have specific anklet versions or bracelets hers is really pretty i don't know if you can see it it's like a druzy and it's iridescent and it's super shiny with a little like pastel purple I actually have an inklet that I'm wearing that I've had on for like three years and it's from Pura Vita and it still looks great so these are a really good idea for teen girls as well they're really popular right now and then we also got these little micro toy box toys I've never seen these before they kind of remind me of like five surprise they also come in five inside and the other one on top has one of her favorite games Candyland, and then also four other surprises inside so i think she'll like those she'll probably play with them with her 
Barbies and then she also has her little shopping mart that we got with all her five surprise and Shopkins last year and she still plays with that all the time so I know she'll play with this with it too and the thing that I'm most excited to give her is these two super cute charm it charms for her new charm bracelet so after her very first cheer performance with her show team she got a charm it bracelet which is like a gold beaded bracelet they also have necklaces and there's different options and we got her the cheer charm well, you can get all kinds of different charms for different occasions, so we're giving her two more for her stocking for Christmas, and they are so cute. In my What I Got My Kids For Christmas video, this is one of the most popular ideas that I shared that people really wanted to get for their daughter, so check out Charmin. They have it in the girls section at Nordstrom, and then they also sell it at Learning Express and also online. And then Ezra requested a set of fidgets that are like green beans or snap peas and they came with little peanuts too so jenna has a peanut keychain that you can squeeze and the little guy pops out that little fidget we also got her bubble tape and her own popping fidget we got her a pack of berry blast tic tacs that i thought were cute a push pop with Santa on top those are always fun and we also got her a good to grow um, juice that we can refill and hers is branch from trolls and that's everything we got for Jenna next I'll show you everything that we got for Ezra for his stocking stuffers and Ezra is 10 years old and he's a boy Ezra is interested in cats and video games and more cats so that's pretty much his interest the first thing that I got for him is this pack of Cats versus Pickles, they have these at several different stores. They're a blind bag and it's like a bean bag toss. You can also get them like a cornhole game so they can play with their bean bags. Inside is either a cat or a pickle and they're dressed up differently and he's gonna love these. I have never gotten them for him before so I picked up a few different packs. One of them looks like a little astronaut. They're cute. The next thing I got for him is this that I thought was interesting. It is the Talking Mr. Predicto. You can ask it a question and it will speak an answer. Kind of like a magic eight ball, but it's a much more entertaining. I thought it would be fun to see him play with that. He's pretty funny. The next thing that I got for Ezra is a Roblox $25 gift card because he loves Roblox. And I shared this in my What I Got My Kids For Christmas video, but I found this multi-pack of like escape room type gift card mazes. You can put money inside, you can put gift cards inside. This kind of makes it more fun. Obviously, if you buy a gift card like this, it doesn't fit inside here, which a lot of people ask me. The stuff that you need for the gift card is just right here. So all you do is just cut it off to regular gift card size, and then you have to move the little ball inside to the right place, and then you can slide it open to open it and put the gift card in and then close it and mess it up. That way when they get it, it's a lot more fun and entertaining than just giving them a gift card. We also found these baby bottle pop candy canes. They have a bunch of different baby bottle pop powders and then candy canes there. And I'm gonna open this up and spread it throughout the kids' stockings. These were found at Walmart, by the way. I had a lot of people asking me that last time. We also got Ezra this book called Find the Cat. He's obsessed with cats. These are brain games. And so on every page, there's a high quality picture that you have to look at to find the cat and they're hidden pretty well. There are a lot of pages on here, 256. So I thought he could do that in the car or something, or maybe take it to school and put it in his backpack. We also got him a fingerboard, a tech deck one. His has a line on it. They love these. These are coming back and becoming more popular now like they were a few years ago, by the way. My kids have been asking about them and they never seemed to pay attention to them before. So I think they're seeing them at school. We also got him a pack of these nano hex bugs. These are super entertaining for pretty much every age. They even have one for toddlers that are is bigger. But honestly, Cruz could use these just fine. And you can get mazes and tracks for them as well. We even got Ezra an infinity loop one where they like go upside down. You have to have a different kind of bugs for them, which are also pretty inexpensive. And um, they're just entertaining. And the cats like to play with them too. So he's gonna be happy about these. And then these are the kind that can go upside down. Um, they just have those little hair looking things on their back. And then we also got him um, a bag of Andy's hot fries and then we also got him his own nice pair of sunglasses. Brady had a nice pair of sunglasses that he got from his Easter basket 
last year or the year before. And the other boys have really wanted one, like a sporty pair. So this is Ezra's. They look like this. And these are really good, but there's also the Rowlings brand. If your kid plays baseball or something, you may have seen them. Those are good too, but I found this pretty comparable to the Rowlings brand. Hold on, I think I hear something. Are you in your room? We also got Ezra his little keychain fidgets, like the ones that he was asking for. These are the ones that are like little snap peas and a little guy pops out. And then he also has a peanut like Jenna. He asked for these specifically, and then we got him some Icebreaker Sours Mints. They love those, and his Push Pop. We also got him a Shishibo Cube like the others, and again, they can connect together and manipulate as a really big cube, which we haven't gotten to do before because we've only had one before, so that's going to be fun. It's kind of like a Rubik's Cube-ish except it's more creative instead of just a challenge. We also got this pack of DNA balls. It looks like this. It came in a multi-pack. They're clear. And then we also got Ezra these little juicy drop gummy sticks with the juicy drop stuff that you can dip them in. The next thing we got Ezra is a little leather bracelet with a cross on it just because I like to give a physical reminder of what Christmas is really about as well. We have had these before and they're super high quality. They are adjustable. They have a little string in the back that you can pull to make them smaller. And I think they look super cute on the boys. They have them in brown and black as well. We also got Ezra this little flippy cat. These flippy stuffed animals are really popular right now. They have the little octopus or the squid. This one is a little happy cat that flips into a mean cat. Um, it's so funny because after I bought this, Ezra used some allowance that he made from his chores and also getting a really high grade on a test. So like if my kids get above a 90, if they make a 91, they get $1. If they make a 94, they get $4. His goal has been like 97s and 100s so that he's getting $7 or $10 for all of his tests. Anyway, it's only for major grade tests too. So he's been doing a good job. He used his own money to buy one of these little flippy things. He got a blue um, octopus and like when you flip him over, he has fire eyes. He really loves it. He's been carrying it around everywhere. So I know he's gonna like this little cat too. We also got him a set of the popping tubes because he talked about them too when we saw them in the mall. And we got him a four ocean bracelet. So if you don't know what these are, for some reason, wristbands and bracelets have been more popular recently with the boys. I've noticed them on my own sons and their friends. And I'm also a teacher, if you didn't know, so I pay a lot of attention to my students and I have a lot of students because I teach online. So I've literally seen like 4,000 different students this year. So I know my kids, okay? And bracelets are more popular for boys right now. The Four Ocean one and also the Pura Vita ones are good for boys if you're looking for something that they might like and they also always like wristbands a lot. Four Ocean is cool though because every time you purchase a bracelet, they donate the proceeds to cleaning up the ocean. So when you buy one bracelet, it removes one pound of trash from the ocean and they also have specific animals that they are um, associated with. So this one is the dolphin and this one helps um, the dolphin project every time the bracelet is donated as well. And Ezra loves animals so I think that he'll like this and be proud that his gift is helping. Something else we got him is this little thing that I've never seen before but it's super cute. It's called a zipper bite and they had a sample like one that you could actually touch hanging in the Hallmark store and it was so cute. So the inside has a little clip that clips onto any zipper. You can put it on a lunch kit, a backpack or something. His is the cutest little cat. We also got him some Hubba Bubba gum and these little fidget toys that glow in the dark. And then he also got his own little fidget popper and that's everything for Ezra's stocking. Next up, I'll share Brady's stocking and he is 11 years old. He's super into art. If you haven't seen his paintings, they are seriously amazing. I know I'm his mom, but they're amazing. If you haven't seen them, you can go to my Instagram and I have a Brady highlight and I'm sure some of his portraits are on there. He's something special if I do say so myself. He goes to an art academy and he loves art. So he's also a parrot owner and he likes parrots. You can keep that in mind when you see his stuff. The first thing I got for him is the new Diary of a Wimpy Kid Big Shot book. I know all three boys will read this for sure, but they're big fans of the Diary of a Wimpy Kid series. And then I got him this 
tin of Bob Ross mints. We also got him this Dance Dance Revolution mini arcade. This one you can use with your fingers to play the Dance Dance at the bottom. This is so funny because I never would have thought to get it, but we went into Cracker Barrel and that was his first time in his life going in Cracker Barrel and we had to wait whenever we were on a road trip. So while we were waiting, he saw this and I saw him just playing away and the boys were like, that's so cool. And so I was like, I gotta get that for him. So this is for Brady, but obviously it's gonna stick out the top of his stocking because it's rather big mini arcade. And then we also got him his own DNA ball. There's two things that he really wanted for Christmas that he asked Santa for. And one of them, the main one, the only thing he told me he wanted for Christmas prior to me shopping was parrot figures because I guess he's gonna put them on his headboard and display them. So that is what we got. We got him some nice um, different parrot figures. Star Scarlet McCalls are his favorite. I think this is what this is. I don't know, he would know better than me. But we got him those, there's tons of them. There's like cockatoos or cockatiels. Um, blue carrots, these little budgies, or I don't know, Brady knows the names of all this stuff. I'm sorry, I'm not the best at it. But all these little figures, they are really cute. So he's going to absolutely love this. We got two different packs and I'll link them below just in case you also have a bird lover. We also got him his own leather cross bracelet and then we got him this set of shilling noodles. Brady also loves ramen noodles. I thought about getting him the ramen noodles fidget toy, but it's just like a big goop of string. I don't really know. I thought this might be better. I figured he might like a fidget toy too since the other kids like them so much. And then we also got Brady this that I'm pretty excited about. It's a gyroscope, like a nice gyroscope. So it's like a fancy top that you can spin for a really long time and you can get good at it. It comes in different colors. This is what his looks like with gold and um, blue and it has a string on it so you set it on the little stand or you can put it wherever and like pull the string and um, it spins all around. So that's going to be fun to see him get better at. We also got Brady his own Tech Tech fingerboard. He's never had one of these and I think he might like to play with it too. And then we also got him a Shishibo cube. This is from the Artist Series one. I thought it was cool and on the Shishibo cubes on every single side of them and there's a lot of sides there's a different pattern. So there's all kinds of different colors in there. They're really cool. And then we got him some icebreaker duos, his own juicy drop gummy sticks. We got him his fidget popper and his little peanut popper guy. And then we got him his four ocean bracelet. His looks like this and it's the shark version. It's black. And then we got him his little escape room maze and roblox gift card his little green bean guy thing a push pop hubba bubba and the last thing for brady stocking is hot fries and last is the stuff for my oldest son evan stocking he is almost 13. so evan loves sports he's played football forever he likes video games, but mostly just sports. There's only so much text and stuff I can buy and I've pretty much bought everything that I thought was of value, especially when your team is not doing good and traded all your favorite players away. But I did get him some stuff that I think that he'll like. The first thing that I got him are these Crayola Globbles. If you haven't heard of these, he saw them on TikTok a long time ago before I took TikTok away from my kids. Apparently these are fun to throw on the ceiling and they don't leave marks and they're clean on your walls. That's yet to be seen, but they do sound like a lot of fun and they seem like a lot of fun in the videos that I've seen. I also got him his favorite scent of Axe body wash and then he has been asking for tech decks. So I got him two of them, this one and this one. And I also got him some little skate park stuff, like a half pipe, things that he can put together to do tricks on with his fingerboard if he learns how to do them. I also got him his own little gift card maze and a Roblox gift card as well. And then I got him a really cool Shishibo cube. This one is called Moon and it looks awesome. There's different sides of it where it looks like the moon. I really like that one. He loves football cards. So we got him a pack of football cards. These are really hard to get if you've tried. You pretty much can't buy them online at regular cost. You can go, I think it's on Tuesdays to Target when they restock and you can grab them every once in a while. And then we also got him his own pair of athletic sunglasses. I'll show you what his looks like. His favorite color is blue. Ezra likes red and blue. 
So Ezra has the red ones and those are Evans and Brady's are like blue to red rainbow. And then we also got him a pair of his favorite, not a pair, a pack of his favorite mechanical pencils. These have stronger lead. It's like 0.9. It's harder to break. These and the Papermate like triangular ones are the best as far as like strong lead, but he likes these better now that he's older. So I got him more of those. And then I also got his favorite candy or one of his favorite candies. He loves Mexican candy like his mama. These have like chamoy and chili pepper on them. They're called cherry bombs and they're so good. We get them at Lolly and Pops candy shop in the mall. And then we also got him DNA ball and his four ocean bracelet. His one is the great white shark. So it's like white and black mixed. And then he got hubba bubba and juicy drop gummy sticks. He also got some icebreaker sours. He got a push pop and his own popping thing. And his little green bean fidget and some hot fries. He loves anything hot. And actually the one thing that is not pictured is a new phone case for him. His old one was Texans and the Texans are kind of sucking it up this year. So we're getting him a new one. He loves hot Cheetos. So it's actually a hot Cheetos phone case. I hope he likes it. I think he will. That's everything for my kids' stockings. I hope I was able to give you some ideas. If you found anything that you liked, please leave a comment below to let me know. I'm so curious what works for your kids too. And if you thought of anything good that you haven't seen me talk about before, leave a comment too to give other moms some ideas or moms and dads some ideas as well. If you want to see more ideas, especially for older kids, I have tons of videos about what I got my kids for Christmas and Easter baskets too, which are also good for stockings. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please click the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.